Hi, welcome to Project Geospatial. I'm Adam Simmons. And I'm Mason Rothman. And uh, today we're going to have several topics to talk about, including a press release by uh, the folks in St. Louis regarding the uh, T-Rex or uh, Innovation Center. Is that correct, Mason? Yeah, so uh, St. Louis is building up. It's the largest. So we've already talked about this, I think, on, on previous episodes, but it's the largest investment in St. Louis history of $1.8 billion, the new campus East for NGA. And uh, T-Rex uh, and the, the, uh, those fo the, the Geosaurus folks, that's the, uh, so I guess more of your developer side, nerdy side uh, folks, so kind of like the conference that we're at right now, right, Adam? But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's more of your uh, technical geo developer, but also just all kinds of flavors of it. Uh, and so that's, that's the local St. Louis community uh, developer group, et cetera. Um, yeah, so this, they picked a head and he's a former NGA, uh, NGA government uh, guy. Mark. Tagenhorst, is that how you pronounce his name? I'm not quite sure. Uh, Tagenhorst, uh, Tagent, yeah, the T, uh, the ta there's no, yeah, so Tagenhorst is his name, Mark Tagenhorst. He's a, I don't personally know him. I haven't worked with him. He's uh, a 33 year old veteran, uh, a 33 year veteran leader <laughs> of research and innovation issues for the uh, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. So he's moved on to uh, lead this effort. He was looking like that at 33, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, he's leading this effort in downtown St. Louis. And this is supposed to be kind of a you know, almost like a startup incubating space so to support startups and early early stage geospatial startups that's a better description Adam. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, supporting the you know workforce development so mm -hmm. this is this is supposed to increase and uh, basically you know small projects out there yeah and get them going uh, mm -hmm. because st. Louis has a massive effort to try and uh, inspire the local community yeah. to Get, get going. I, I honestly can't wait to learn a little bit more about Mark Tagenhorst or meet him actually, maybe at the next GON or before if we get an opportunity to go out to St. Louis. So what's the next topic we got on the list? Uh, well, so uh, Hawkeye 360 that we've talked about in the past, the uh, the, uh, the the commercial SIGINT based company, just interestingly enough, hired last uh, month, uh, we're here at the beginning of August now, but last month they hired uh, Robert Cardillo, the former NGA director now to their board of directors, which is truly... Uh, showing the path forward on where they plan on going. We talked to them previously at GON and other, uh, other past events, et cetera, about the, uh, the importance of it with our personal experience of it in the past. Uh, when you combine more of the ends together, the more Paul Harvey rest of the story, complete picture that it tells about what's actually going on. That's got to be your favorite catchphrase. Right? It is. I, you Paul know, Harvey I, rest, we, we rest his soul, guy. rest his soul. All yes. Right. Good day. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so um, <laughs> so Robert Cardillo is coming in, former NGA director, like I said. Uh, I've worked uh, under him in the past, um, I believe I did, yeah. But that's not his first. This is uh, this is one of a couple companies, I believe he's on. Uh, yeah, board of directors, that's that's quite common, for especially for former directors, four-star generals, et cetera. You're going to be on board of directors of several. So um, what do you think he's going to bring to the table? Uh, Hawkeye's uh, gathering quite a big... Uh, he's well, going to bring the most quality... A lot of names to the list. Yeah, he's going to bring the quality folks. There, he's going to he's going to filter through and find the quality folks that, that Hawkeye should deal with. It just a reminder for folks who don't realize Hawkeye 360 is the commercial SIGINT. Yeah, I said that before, Adam. All right, I'm just right, in I'm case just, you weren't listening. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're having some bloopers. So, it's really hot in this room. It is. Woo. And so, well, you got the interrogation lamp on us. Up there. You turned it on us. Uh, so, um, so yeah, he'll be coming on board. And, that, and in all seriousness, that's great news for Hawkeye 360. And I uh, can't wait to, uh, to to talk to them more about that. Awesome. We got one more topic for uh, this evening, right? Yeah, we have one more topic. And what's that? Uh, that is regarding, hold on, uh, geospatial ethics. Yeah. So let me swing back to uh, that notification real quick. So geospatial ethics. The uh, I, I learned about this the other day from uh, 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 Chris Tucker. Uh, at, at who's who's the, the the CEO or chairman over at American Geo? And he and uh, we've met him before at conferences and meetups and whatnot. But he was thinking uh, Dr. Elizabeth Fernandez uh, at, and Forbes for writing thing, uh, the, about the Ethical Geo Initiative. This is uh, from the American Geographical Society, and, and right? The, yeah, well, and the Omidar Network as well as the other one. Uh, they're a, phil uh, philanthropic, a philanthropic 
uh, investment firm harnessing the power of markets to create opportunity for people to improve their lives, or that's what their Twitter so, so says. What they, so what are they doing? So they're going to be creating this ethical geo. So, so they have a competition and it's a three minute video. They're going to have 10 winners and they're going to give each of those winners $7,500 to share your ethical geo idea. And so just uh, look it up, just look up ethicalgeo.org uh, is the name of the website, ethicalgeo.org. Head over there. And if you have any great ideas on how, you know, even in the past, you know, maybe it was on one good tequila night you had or something, or maybe you just had a brilliant moment at work and maybe you sketched down some notes or kept something as a bookmark. Uh, a three minute video though, you got to compress, you got, you got to really compress it. You got to talk quick as well uh, and get that in there and get the point across at the same time with your ethical geo idea, but 10 winners and $7,500 each. That's a great initiative. So actually. what's an example of a uh, ethical issue with the uh, geospatial technology or, or, or topics? Well, and so that's the other thing too, is uh, if uh, you can also talk about, uh, unethical things as well, but they're sorting through and going to be picking the winners, so to speak, of ethical things. So right? how, so how broad would, do you think this would cover? This is uh, people flying drones over your house, that type of thing, or, or oh, without a doubt. Way to, uh, 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 and, and borders, um, uh, there are all kinds of issues, yeah. yeah. You know, people, I, you know, how about all the uh, insurance companies collecting data from roof data, right, over private residences? Yeah, we have you a, know, that's, we have some that's good, an interesting we, thing. We have some good friends, uh, yeah, John, John Isaac that, Clark. That, well, let's not, let's kind of call them out from ethical stuff. That's, I think that's very useful because actually it helps save a lot of people money. Yeah, it, without a doubt. Are you kidding me? In, in but I can see how that data collection, hand hand or, well, I can see how that data collection for private residency falls under. Well, yeah, you were not, yeah, so, but what would you submit for the ethical geo idea? Well, we're not going to tell you what we're, we might submit, <laughs> but you guys should put together a three minute video. If you have just a decent idea and you know, three minutes of, uh, of time, it's pretty simple, right? And what's the worst thing that can happen? You'll just get a reply email that says you didn't, didn't win. <laughs> so, but, uh, well, perhaps even open data as an ethical issue. Yeah. But it's always great to be able to share your ideas. Cause you know, at least a few people will see it. So share awesome. them. Well, I don't think we have anything else tonight, uh, but uh, the plan is to get a bunch of guest speakers over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we've too. got quite a few folks that are interested, yeah. actually. So this will be interesting to follow up here in the next couple of weeks on who all uh, has dared to talk to us. Well, I'll also put a final plug. We are working on renovating our webpage. So that's, uh, so yeah. if you go to it, it's doing, getting some massive changes. We've yeah. even included a, uh, a Patreon donation link. Yeah. Which, yeah. you know, all that is, is we're trying to look for ways to help support the maintenance of the website, as well as some of these trips that Mace and I go on to do coverage for Project Geospatial. Because for those of you who don't know, this isn't something we're paid to do. <laughs> this is all voluntary. Yeah, this is and all And we voluntary. do this all in our free time. Well, we, yeah, we do it in, uh, all the time. It's just one of our, we enjoy, the, yeah, we enjoy geospatial community work. And if work you want to be a guest speaker to, and help us out, uh, yeah. there, there's a way to um, uh, get on board as well. Yeah, so anyhow, there's a Patreon link on there. It's a $5 uh, uh, donation. It's We're not, you don't, no, no guilt trip, no, no whatever. But if, if you have an extra five bucks laying around, we appreciate it. We really do. Once again, I'm Adam Simmons. And I'm Mason Rothman. See you next time.